All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to add a second solid state relay uh, to the Raspberry Pi for uh, Light Show Pi. So I'm on my website here, and I'm just going to kind of use some of my pictures here to kind of explain this. So as you can see, I have two solid state relays here, each channel, each stacked on top of each other here, separated with some uh, posts here. So the second relay, we can hook in anywhere down through here, about any really uh, pin. So, what we can do is, for example, if you look at here, this is my first 8 channel board that's plugged into the Pi. The second set of wires, I decided to use the ones down here on the other end. So, if we pull up this guy... Here's the layout. So this here, obviously, is your 3 and your 5 volt. And your first 8 channels is going to be plugged in basically from, you know, pin 15 down. So when I did mine, I used like uh, pin 40, 38, 36, and so forth down through here. And... I plugged them in. So, moving over to the Pi itself, if we CD into Light Pi, Light Show Pi, and we do a LS, we're going to CD into the config here. So, if we do another LS, as you can see, we got default. So, we're going to nano into this. <clears throat> and once you're in there, if you scroll down, you can see now, for the first eight channels, more than likely, this is like that. But I went ahead and just uh, hashed that out, and I used this guy here. So, not saying it really matters, but uh, as you can see... If you look here, you got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the same thing up here. But I went ahead and added these for the other pins that I used. So, if you just put in 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, 8, and 9... <coughs> you'll be uh, good to go. So, if you use uh, them pins, then you uh, then you should be able to successfully add the second uh, solid state uh, relay board to the Pi. It doesn't matter which really what GPI open you use, you just gotta make sure you have the right pin uh, set up in order to make it work so don't get confused by the GPIO numbers versus the pin numbers these are the pin numbers and these are the GPIO numbers so don't get them too confused so other than that that's about all you uh, really have to do in order to hook these up. You just got to make sure you have the uh, the right wires on the pins that you specified. So, <clears throat> hopefully that kind of helps out. And once you're done, you just want to do a Control X, Y, and Enter to save it if you're using Nano. And... Uh, Make sure you uh, hash this line out 
and remove it from this line. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one.